Hey, how's it going? My name is Sorty, and today I'm going to be playing some more Duck Season. This time I'm going to show you guys the rest of the endings of the game, as well as a couple hidden secrets here and there that I was able to find online. Uh, if you want to see the other two endings, so the canon ending and the best men ending, then I'll put a link to my last video in the description below where I did it in my regular playthrough. So, let's start getting some endings. Alright, so for this first ending, you want to go and play through the game as normal. Don't do anything special. The only thing that you're going to have to make sure that you do at least once is shoot the dog. Make sure you shoot him. Get to the point where it's hour 8. You know the part where he shows up behind you because it says round 4. Turn around, see him. Go, oh no. That's not good. I don't know how to activate it though. What did I do last time? Alright, there you go. Once he hides like that, that's exactly what you want to happen. Uh, my loading is behind me now for some reason. But you want to get to that stage, and you'll be able to get two endings this way. Okay, now it's dark, you're wondering what the hell is going on. Yada, yada, yada. The hell is that over there? I will check that out later. But you want to basically turn around, see your mom on the floor. Very sad. I've already seen this, though. Yeah, she sure is dead. And you want to go face him. He'll say, come face me. You'll want to do that. And these these are kind of the bad endings, I guess. Uh, basically, let him break the TV. So you're at this section here. Little, little Bobby over there is asleep. Oh, no. And you'll basically let the birds come in and break the TV. The health for that is right over here. So you just want to wait it out. It's a little bit of a boring one to do, but same time you can dance while you wait. Oh god, that almost hit me directly. That was insane. Ha! I tried catching the fireball. It didn't work. Okay, could you like speed this up a little bit? Just, I mean, I do enjoy dance. Can I hit the bird? Uh, I think it was a little bit more that way. I didn't want to go too far because I think I have a wall here. Oh, oh, I almost got that. Okay, TV is almost dead. You could probably actually accelerate it a little bit by getting a little bit further. He throws two birds instead of just one. Okay, I want to see what happens. And whoosh. That is almost breaking. So that's not good. Like, normally you'd be shooting the birds here, and you'd also be shooting him to bring him down. Oh, look at that, it's almost breaking. Oh god, Jesus Christ. What's happening? Oh god, the TV remade itself. Oh, that's not good. What are you doing? Hi. Oh, he turns it off. So you are now stuck in here forever. Chances are he probably also killed you in real life. So that's quite unfortunate. I can't switch that anymore. Oh, there's a nice sun though duck season there you go so this is one of the endings where you get stuck in the game world and there's nothing you can do can you shoot the names that would have been sick if they added that in okay my palms are sweaty from him running into me that was scary as hell all right so let's see what happens after can i shoot the sun stuck forever ending there you go this should also allow me to just press continue i think Instead of having to restart everything. Huh? Who are you? Oh. Oh, that's not good. Guess that's when he woke up. Okay, I have a black screen now. Don't know what's happening. Alright, so I was in fact able to press continue, which is what you want to do for this next ending. Make that appear. Come on. Do I have to? There you go. Thank you. Okay, so this next ending is the exact same spot. You'll want to kill him in the game, and then get out of the game. So, don't let him break the TV. It's quite simple. Just keep shooting him. Where is he? There he is. Shoot him and shoot the birds as well. 
The best way to get all the endings, I find, is to go in easy mode, so you don't have to reload the gun. And it's also a little bit quicker to get through all of the different uh, rounds for the different hours. It makes it much faster than if you were to do it on like a regular mode. I know it might seem cheaty to some, but if all you're trying to do is get the endings, it's not the end of the world. Alright, so you want to shoot him a bunch. He's going to appear nice and big for you. No? I thought he does. There it is. Okay. Once he appears nice and big, you'll want to shoot out his eyes. Oh, I might have to wait a little bit. Okay, there you go. Boom. Come on. So when he's doing the laser onto the TV, you'll want to shoot out his eyes. Just like that. It doesn't take very many hits on easy mode. You kill him. And everything should be great. Now you should be brought outside the TV. And you have a nice golden gun too. It's great. Ah, uh, this effect. I can't look at it. I'm closing my eyes right now. Okay, it's over. Whew. I can't handle that effect for some reason. So now once you're outside. I don't know about this. What you'll basically want to do. Is how normally. You, you'll want to, normally you want to grab the, uh, the gun or the baseball bat and stuff. He should appear from over there. It does take a while. I don't know what the trigger is. Hello. This is probably going to scare the crap out of me too. Okay, I'm going to skip ahead until he shows up because last time it took quite a while for some reason. Okay, I think he's approaching soon. Come on, where is he? He usually comes from over there. I could do a laser light show while I wait. There you go. So that's gonna stop. He's gonna show up. Hey bud, come kill me. Take me. Take me. I stab. Oh, that's right in my forehead. Yo. I can actually see it too. And then the screen goes red. So there you go, that's another ending where you, he kills you in real life. It's very gruesome, I know, I'm sorry about that for anybody watching. What happens now? Dead ending, there you go. So I got the dead ending. Oh, now you see it from above. So there you go, he killed me there. Now he's looking at me. Hi. And then he goes back in the game. So there you go. He left me for dead. Kind of gruesome for an ending, but it is an ending. It is the opposite of the canon ending. So Okay, so that's two of the endings. Now there's another ending that I'm kind of excited to do because it sounds like the happy ending. So let's go and do that one. By the way, for those wondering, all the endings that you get show up right over there. So you can see there's two more endings plus one at the top that you get as a trophy. So that's kind of cool. You get to show them off. So for this next ending, it's super simple to do. I I don't I could have got it in my actual let's play uh, of the game, which again you can go check out in my channel. Basically, it's super simple. Don't shoot the dog, like ever. Go through the entire game without shooting the dog once. Why is there a golden bullet there? I can't reach it too, and because I'm playing that, I, I won't be able to. Okay, so yeah, just go through the whole game. You can wave at him, you can say hello. Just make sure you do not shoot him at any moment, and something cool should happen at the end. So I'm gonna skip ahead all the way to the end, because otherwise we're gonna be here all day, and I will show you guys what happens. All right, so I believe there's another ending here that I can do. See how I have a golden bullet there? If I keep shooting until it puts it in. Okay, you can see now my gun is, is gold like this because I put in the golden bullet. When you have that, shoot the sun. Yep. You just nuked the whole planet. 
<laughs> it's a really funny ending, but basically, if you see a golden bullet on the side, I let's see. Oh, nuke ending. There you go. Hi, mom. Dude, everything is dead. Ah, oh, he calls out all the names. That's cool. So basically, for that, yeah. Uh, if you're playing on medium, you put the ammo in yourself, so it could be a little bit easier to like pick them up until you get the golden one, charge it, and then shoot the sun. If you're playing on easy mode, all you have to do is just keep shooting on the side until you uh, get the gun to look gold, and then you can shoot the sun. By the way, for this though, to, to for you to be able to get the golden bullet, I believe you have to do four of the endings, so the cannon, uh, you could do the... Um, the, the two endings that I just showed you, as well as the best men ending, like I said, canon and best men are in the previous video, and then you'll be able to do it. So, it's a quick and easy one to do, and then this happens. So, now we're going to go back to the other one, which is the happy ending that I was talking about. I just figured I had to do this one because I saw the golden bullet, and my gun turned gold, so it was a good idea for me to do it right away instead of waiting for later. It's just, oh, what's going to happen, bud? I mean, wouldn't he be dead too? Oh man, that's creepy there. Oh! Oh, hello! He's got blood all over him too. What? What are you... What are you doing? I can't see because of... I don't know what happened behind the logo, but... Okay, I guess we're back. Alright, so now I will show you guys the happy ending. Alright, so this is normally the part. Oh! Okay, so I don't know if you guys heard that. Maybe I was talking over it. But she said, alright honey, it's 8 o'clock. Time for bed. It is 8 o'clock. I see that behind me. And there you go. We get the happy ending. So all you have to do, make sure you do not shoot the dog at any moment. It's that time. Turn it off. Okay. Okay, Mom. Brush my teeth. There's nothing behind me, no. We can rent it another day since you liked it so much. Yay! I would have shot that annoying dog. Oh no, that's a bad idea. Good night, dear. Don't don't shoot the dog. No, you don't want to do that. So I actually almost got this ending in my playthrough, but I wanted to shoot the dog, so. Final Fiesta. Hey! You gonna play our copy of Final Fiesta? Can I? No? Alright. So I guess that's how it ends. So yeah. Basically, this the what she ends up saying is kind of to help you. I guess if you do get this ending. So then you play it again and go, Hmm, maybe I will shoot the dog this time. Yo! They don't make noise. Why am I here? Shouldn't I be in bed? The only thing I see is Final Fiesta around me. Hello? Shouldn't I, shouldn't I be in bed here? Mom? I feel like something bad is gonna happen. What happens if I put this game in? I don't think I'm supposed to be playing right now. Am I? Ah, it, it does work. Alright, let me... Hey! Okay, I'm a little bit scared actually right now. What does this do? Hard to believe, yada yada yada. Like when does it, when does it end? Okay, let me skip ahead, see if anything does happen, because I did get the ending, it's up there. I believe it's that one there. Oh. Ah! There you go, now I can play the maracas. 
Anybody want to join me? Oh, God, I dropped the markers. Oh, God. <laughs> ah. <laughs> it's so cool. It's a damn party in here now. Look at the lights everywhere. I might as well keep playing. This is really cool. <laughs> so this is Final Fiesta, in case anybody's wondering. Oh, okay, it just ends like that. So it takes a little bit of time, and then it just ends. All right, there you go. So we have one more ending to do. I've been playing for like an hour now. It does take some time to get the endings because you have to go through the whole game. One more. Let's go. That's weird. The clock said 8 o'clock for me. That was a little bit weird. Okay, so for this ending, you want to do the same thing as the Fiesta ending. You want to get the Fiesta ending a second time, and then there's going to be an extra little thing that you do afterwards. So, once again, I will skip all the way to the end, and we will see what happens. Alright, so we're about to finish hour number 8 once again, right after these two. A perfect score, by the way. There you go. Alright, Mom. Oh, I'm closing it. Thank you. So now you just have to wait a little bit for it to end. Now, there's supposed to be a skip somewhere. Not quite sure. That's hour 7, not 10. Can I skip this? It said something about skip the ending. No? Okay, well I'm gonna skip it in the editing and I will get to the point where the new thing happens after this. Something's different. Hmm. Where's Final Fiesta? Wait. What's this? Uh-oh. This is the new ending. He talked about Final Fiesta. Where is it? Where did it go? And there's a new VHS. I don't, I don't know. I hope there's no jump scares. Please don't be jump scares. I hate jump scares. Well, there's Final Fiesta. There should also be a new VHS, though. Is that it? It's me. There you go. This is the new VHS, which wasn't there before. So let's, let's just watch it. Let's put it in. Let me sit down on the floor here. Come here. What? Oh, something new is happening. Hold up, I'm back. Okay, so he pointed you, me. This is like usually for a baby. Okay, it's still hour eight. Dog ending. What? The hell is this? Oh, okay. Oh God. Oh my god. You want me to help? Okay. What does this do? Oh, I could slow it down or like speed it up. I think I'm supposed to do it at the same speed as him. Am I? Okay, I, am I supposed to do something here? I, <laughs> I can slow it down. Can I speed it up? <laughs> A little bit. I don't know what this does. Okay, so he controlled everything. 
And we were like kind of buddies there. Okay. All right, so that was the final ending. So, wow. Okay, I'm going to go back in the game because there is a few secrets that I also want to go check out. But there's been theories on who the dog is. And some people say it's the dad. Because especially with that ending, he goes, you, me, like this. So, like, maybe it's, you know, I, you're my baby. Not quite sure, actually. But there you go. That's the final ending up here. So that was all the endings. Okay, let's shut him up. Now, the secret thing is this book right here. You want to grab it. It's called Kid Wizard by A.K. Trolling. Obviously, this is a reference to Harry Potter. But supposedly, you could touch this with other things. And then stuff happens. So I'm going to quickly look up what I'm supposed to touch. And I will show it to you guys. Oh my god, look at my face. Oh man. If, if you play VR for a long time, please take rests and drink lots of water. Alright, so there's a few things. Once you grab the book, there's a magazine. No, wait, I want the book in this hand. There's a magazine somewhere uh, that you want to grab. Let me find it real quick. Alright, so you want to find the GGG, and supposedly, something happens. Okay, I, I'm not sure. There's a few other things too. I will be showing them all. I'm sorry if this video is a bit long. Hey! Ah, oh, that's like messages from the dev and stuff. After releasing Hover Junkers, Watch commercial, pizza's found, dance with dog. Only we achieved. Oh, that's so cool. Challenge ourselves conceptually, graphically, and narratively. Okay. So there's a whole thing here. Um I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna do it all. Let's go let's I just wanna dance with the duck. Yeah. That kind of does dance with the duck. That's so cool. So you can kind of see like a bunch of different things about uh, the game, a bunch of the like things that you could play with as well. You can try them all out. You can have fun with them. You can look at all the different copies of all the games. I believe this is also a place where you can easily like play all of the games somewhere. I'm not quite sure where. Collect all the icons and achievements. Not quite sure what that's all about. I don't know what most of these things are, but... Okay. So that's really cool. You can kind of see her, like, playing in VR, too, which is pretty cool. Okay, this is pretty neat. Well done. Honestly, try out some of the shotgun mechanics or head over to the tables to check out some of our detailed objects. Shoot at the orange carpet to teleport. How do I try out the sh... Oh, there it is. Oh, God. And you're offhand to grab a cartridge. Oh, if I want to do that. Okay, yeah. So if I hit these... Yeah, nice! Can I shoot him? Oh, I'm actually out of bullets. Hold up. I can, but it does nothing. What about the dog? Can I shoot the dog in here? Okay, that does nothing too. That's pretty neat, honestly. Being able to like show around like in a... Okay, he's still talking. But I'm going to leave now. That's pretty cool. I might check that out in my own time. You can kind of play with everything there. Pretty neat. Okay, now grab the book. And now you want to touch... There's a figurine somewhere. I just got to find it. Yeah, okay. So you want to get that guy. He's in the corner. He does appear later on. Then you want this magical book, right? And you want to go, oh, whoosh. And then something happens here. I can't remember what it said on the website. I'm using a website, by the way. Well, I just Googled it um, in order to find these. I, it's not like I'm that smart that I was able to find everything. Oh? My... What the hell? I'm huge now! Oh my god! I can walk around the whole house. Can I look outside? What is this? There's no wall here. 
I can actually look outside. Oh my god, everything is so tiny! <laughs> Wait, there's there's a message in the bathroom. Oh, this is neat. You get to actually look around now. So yeah, you can see the dog is up there as well. Right there? I don't know. There's probably something else. Okay. I mean I can pass through this. I'm, oh god, this is a wall, isn't it? Okay, what does it say? Beware the monkey and the cat tricksters. Greater dangers await you beyond this world. I will contact you again in the next game. Look for my mark. Okay, that's the mark. Where are you guys? Oh god, you guys are over here. Hello. Um, okay, this is this is really cool, by the way. Um, but that's talking about their next game. I believe it's called Hover Junkers. I don't know if it's actually currently out. If it is, I might check it out. But yeah, now I, now I can go all the way into the kitchen. Hi, Mom. This is my back wall, so I can't go much further. But that's cool. Look at my mom. <laughs> that's pretty cool. What can I grab here? This is this is weird. Okay, there's an empty room there. Oh my God! I can actually walk around the house. Beep, beep, beep. Use the computer. I can unplug her computer. They did a well, a uh, well job, a good job, like modeling this house. By the way, I think it's pretty cool. Okay, now the other thing. Hold on, I gotta go look it up again. All right, so you grab the book. Once you're big, you grab the book and you touch the computer. Oh, okay. Touch the keyboard of the computer. Maybe it's different for people, but for me, it was the keyboard. My loading is back there. What's going on? Oh my god. Yeah! Okay, please shut up. So this is where you can actually play with every single item in the game. So you can see there's the model of the regular, there's the model of the bloodied version of him, there's a giant pumpkin, the phone, there's the book still, the, the kid wizard book. I don't know what the hell that book is. Hold on, I wanna grab this. That's spooky. Don't believe his lies. There's the monkey up there. So yeah, this is where you can interact with all of the items in the game. By the way, you can eat these. It's pretty funny. There's also... A, that, that's another thing too. This is a place where you can easily grab any of the cartridges in order to get the achievements if you really want them all. This is really cool. It's like a test area. Okay, what happens if I touch these two books together? Okay, maybe maybe it doesn't do anything actually. The camera there. I'm wearing a pumpkin head. There is there is a secret with a pumpkin. I might let, let me show you guys right now. There you go. I knew that was gonna happen. So there is a pumpkins that appear in the game. If you touch it with the book, this will happen as well. Otherwise you can go in this world and it makes it a whole lot easier to do it. So, as soon as this load, this came out for Halloween. I know I'm a little bit late on Halloween. It's closer to Christmas than Halloween. But, hopefully it loads. You hear that? Zombies. So, this is like zombie mode. Where you have to shoot a bunch of zombies everywhere. <laughs> so, some of the zombies are... Some of the zombies are like your mom. Uh, there's the dog as zombies. There's a giant cat there, which is creepy. I don't really have anything. Every zombie takes like two hits, I believe. So, I don't know what, uh, you don't really get anything, I believe. I wanna shoot him, cause he's a scary guy. And my mom is like crawling on the floor there. I don't know who this is. I don't know what happens if you lose, either. Which I'm about to- OH GOD JESUS HELLO HOW'S IT GOING? I turned around and did not expect her- WHO ARE THESE PEOPLE? Bleah, look at me, I'm a dumb bee. Okay, if you get hit twice, you lose. <laughs> oh my god, she scared the crap out of me. I hope that's some of the devs, that'd be pretty cool. Alright, so that's the last thing. Oh no, wait, there's one more thing. 
I just don't know how to figure it out. Um, it has something to do with this and making yourself big. Oh god. Come on. Teleport over here, please. Can I, can I grab you? Hold on, let me, I gotta try grabbing the little figurine back there. It's kind of hard to do for some reason. Come on. There you go, okay. Oh, oh, hello. I would highly recommend anybody that's trying to do this, um, go at least, I believe, to stage like two or three. He appears on your floor, so it's much easier to do stuff with him instead of trying to grab him back there. He's kind of glitchy and stuff. Okay, so, supposedly... There's another place that you need to touch with this. Is it the cat? It's the cat. Okay, touching the cat. There's a whole big thing. Oh my god. What the hell? I can't... Supposedly, you could, you can move this. Oh. Do I stab him? He's, he's the only one, with, I, okay, I can move these around. Oh, wait a second. He gets eyes at 12. Him at one. Okay, let's, let's change all, stop doing that. Where did it go? Are you serious? Now I'm stuck here. I can't I can't do anything. Oh my god, that's silly. This is really creepy, but okay, let me restart or try and restart or something. And I, I will get back here. Alright, so I've returned to the creepy room. Hopefully. It's glitching out on me. Okay, I gotta make sure it's like not attached or not too close to me, I guess. Okay, let's move that. I'm guessing you have to make all the eyes appear, which isn't that difficult. It's just this guy's four o'clock, five o'clock. Okay, let's keep this going. Six o'clock. I hope there's no jump scare. Please, no jump scare. These guys are creepy enough as is. Oh, a little bit too far. So eight or nine o'clock. All right, almost done, almost done. This one, 10 o'clock. Light your way to 11, kid. Do what? That's some freaky ass eyeballs. I mean, my book is here. I can't, oh, I can't reach it. Remember the, what did it say? Remember the number something. What, what do I need to do? Light your way, yes, but what did it say there? It said something else there. Remember the minute letters, one, two, three, A, B, C. Remember the minute letters. How did I activate that? It's when I picked up this book. What are, maybe all the minute numbers. So that one's like one, four, four, one, four, two, one, four, eleven. Uh, that would be 10. Remember the letter numbers, one, two, three. What am I? Do I have to grab this? Light your way, kid. I am so lost. Ah! My face. See, this just brings me back. There is one of those lights somewhere. I don't see it right now though. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go look it up. Hold on just a second, folks. Alright, so I think I found something. I'm gonna start by going in the item test world. Uh, where's the book? The book's gonna be somewhere around here, I believe. There it is. Grab that. Touch the computer. 
There you go. Now, remember there was the, the light, right? It might be something to do with the light. I think you have to touch the, the book. All right, so the Kid Wizard... This has to stop. Let's see. Yes, something happens. Okay. Let's see what happens now. I don't know what happens. There's like a whole other section that I'm still not at. The hell? I'm... The hell? Am I in like a treehouse? I'm in my treehouse outdoors. Huh. Okay. Oh, that's kind of neat, actually. Okay. What the hell is this? There's a glass. There's a... I can... I... What? I can grab this. So, L-A-B... A, B, C, D, E, F, all the way to A, B, A, B, C, C, D, E, wait, what? Okay, uh, A, B, C, what if I cover this? No, okay. Am I supposed to spell something? A, B, C. Do you guys know what I'm supposed to... Oh, wait a second. Hold up, hold up. What, it, what was it? One, one, two, three. Oh, man, I don't remember. But I think that's what you have to do here. Okay, I'm... I need, I need to look it up. I do not remember all those numbers. Alright, so I've got the code, guys. Hold on, restart. It's bad, dad, bad, kid. Here we go. Something happened. The accursed... Cryptid has finally been dealt with. Fear it no longer. Congratulations, Kid Wizard. You are the chosen one. Go now and rest. You have made it to the very end of the game. Thank you, monkey. I feel like the monkey's lying, though. Why do I feel like the monkey's lying? There... There's gotta be something else. Oh, ho, ho. This is the book. But what... What do I do with this book? Maybe the book to the game? Book to the monkey? No. I know if you touch those two together, you go back. So what do you do with this? Maybe I gotta throw something at the door? Maybe this evil book. Not... Oh! What's going on? Oh, Jesus Christ! Hall of the Machine King? Whoa! This looks like just the kid, just later on. It looks like the same couch. He built some sort of virtual world. Hall of the Machine King. So I'm guessing this is like their next game. Isn't that right, dude or person? That's pretty neat. Something happens there. Okay. And now I get an even bigger copy of the of this game, which is pretty funny. It keeps getting bigger. It's like, dude, get out. Can I? Whoa, if I light that up, there's, there's no other secret here, maybe? Hold on, let me just check real quick if I can find anything. Alright, so it looks like there's, there is nothing else to this. So, 
I'm just gonna just gonna leave. There is a, a giant timer though that I need to I need to go check out super quick once again. Okay. So once you get every single achievement, that guy appears. Um can I can I shoot him? Oh wait, out of bullets. 185 days until this opens. So something is going to happen in 185 days. When when is that gonna be? That's like it's like half a year. Maybe that's when they're oh god, where are you guys? You guys are over here. I'm so sorry. Maybe that's when their next game comes out. I'm not quite sure. What if I throw the book at him? Okay, so nothing happens with that. But there you go, guys. So that's all the endings, all the secrets of this absolutely amazing game. Hover Junkers, I'm definitely going to check that out, see what that is. And I might even play it a little bit. There you go. See? I'm, I swear it's the dead. I'm sure it's the dead. But anyways, there you go. And in 185 days, I will come back to this and I will check it out and see what the hell is going on. I don't know. So there you go guys, that's all the endings and all the secrets that I could find in this game. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. It took me like two hours to record everything. Absolutely ridiculous. Having to do every single ending, it's not that it's difficult, it's just it takes a long time because you have to constantly go through the whole game basically and that takes like 20 minutes every time. <sighs> really, really fun though. Absolutely love this game. Let me know down in the comments below, like, what was your favorite part? What was your favorite ending? How about that? What was your favorite? And for me, probably just the canon ending because I felt like that was the, just the typical ending. Like, that, I found it was a good canon ending. If I couldn't choose that one, though, I actually really like the Fiesta one. Like, everyone's just, like, dancing and everyone's just happy and it's like, oh, nothing bad ever happened. But anyways... Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. One hundred eighty-five days from now is June 19, twenty eighteen. I'll see you then.